So congr um, congratulations, you got a new movie that just came, came out. But yes. ha first of all, how is it to be here at uh, Beyond Fest? It's awesome. I, uh, I actually came out and saw uh, Haunters on Thursday night, which is uh, a, a little bit different take of the movie I did, The House of October Belt. This is, it's actually a documentary, and to, to be able to relive that from that perspective was really cool. So I think Beyond Fest is doing a lot of good things and picking good movies that uh, people can be excited about. Well, let's talk. Let's talk about uh, your film, um, House at October Built. I mean, we, you already came out with the second film. I mean, what? Why do you think people wanted to see it so much? Uh, I think we connected with audiences because we were real. Um, you know, we we took the approach of we actually wanted to go to real places. And when Steven Schneider, who produced Paranormal Activity and Insidious and uh, Split, when he saw the film the first time, he said it's real until it isn't, and I don't know when that is. And so. That was our mission: is kind of like to, to to transform the genre of like not be not be found footage fake from the very beginning, but actually do real things. And so I think people connect with that, and they they see that we're doing things that they would do. And so I think that's uh, that's kind of what's connected the audience to our films. What do you suppose that you kind of done differently in the sequel? It's bigger. It's uh, the cinematography is is a bigger movie. Um, I think they're they're prettier shots. We didn't want to do like Ma and Pa haunted houses again. We had already kind of done that, and so we wanted to give the audience like an experience that they could do, like you know, do a zombie 5K, do a zombie pub crawl, these big events where there were you know 30,000 people at, and and so I think that's the the biggest change from the first film. Now in the, in the horror genre. That we always, they always do a lot of found footage and so so on. Aren't we kind of getting tired of that, or or you think that's still a, a pretty good place to go to? No, I think we are getting tired of it. I think that um, you have to have a reason why it makes sense, and I think for us, like taking you on this Halloween adventure with us was the reason we chose found footage and so if you're doing that I think it's a good idea. If you're if you're just doing it to be cheap, then it's probably not the best idea and there's a lot of people doing that so I do understand that audiences are getting tired of that um, I just hope that um, future films that take that approach would be smart with it and and do it for a reason and if it's done for a reason I'm down like um, there there are several found footage movies that I love and I think if you told them in a not found footage way it wouldn't be authentic and it wouldn't be the right way last question what are some of your all-time horror movies favorites oh man uh, all time, uh, I mean, I love Insidious. The first Insidious is one of my favorite movies ever. Um, so creepy. I love the new It. Um, and then if we go back, I, the, the original Saw is, is one of my favorite films. Um, the Shining. I mean, we're just going to keep keep going back. You know, That's right. That's a lot of good movies you listed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, hopefully Mayhem is going to be up there with it. I, I hope so. I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank right, you for speaking. Thank you. Yeah.